Hi Aquarius, thank you for being here. It's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here again. Uh, all links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Aquarius. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, um, should I start with the good news? Or the, I'll start with the T, okay? Because that's what some of y'all are here for. Anyway, um, how you're coming into the reading, Aquarius, is a... Uh, great fortune not good fortune but great fortune uh, and it might be it might be by your own hand by you doing something repeated repeatedly you putting effort energy into something over and over again um you making something great making something work this would be like the start of a business a start of actually coming into or walking into your destiny uh, some long-term goal fulfillment you're right on the brink of that okay um, everything that you touch turns to gold because you're you're willing to put the, the work the energy effort time money behind it uh, for some of you this could be a relationship you're in a new relationship you're in a new courtship it's going well and it's going to turn into something very long lasting. You could be getting married and this would be getting married later in life, you know, traveling, marriage, um, just a really a fortunate connection that you're in. And if you're not in a connection, it says that, you know, you could, uh, you could be trying to manifest a new connection, a new relationship. Um, it's a part of your destiny or your fortune here. Okay. Um, and it'll be very fortunate for you to be in that union with a particular person. Also, it talks about some of you needing to go backwards into your roots uh, to fix something there and kind of examine something in terms of relationship, feminine energy, maybe even with your mother, so that you can move forward in your connection, okay? If you already are in a connection. Okay. Um, how your person is coming to the reading is a completely different vibration. The thief card and the bad health. Okay. This automatically, I was hearing karma. Okay. Um, your person could be getting karma for maybe treating you unfair, unjust. Uh, for cheating, for lying, for stealing time, energy, your essence from you. Your person could uh, be engaging in sex only relationships or was trying to make the relationship with you just that. Maybe you thought it was a real courtship and this person was only after sex. They were after what they could get out of a connection. Remember a thief, a thief, um, he takes, he doesn't give. So maybe this person was just taking, 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 whatever they could take, your time, your sex, your money, your looks, your your intellect, whatever, um, and not giving to the connection, okay? There's no exchange in uh, theft. It's just taking, okay? Um, this person tried to pigeonhole the relationship into maybe it just being a sexual connection, okay? It just being something where they were fascinated or fixated on your body, on what you had to give physically. They could be going through a bad or a rough time here. I'm hearing, you know, bad health. Of course, we have bad health here. Could even be, you know, as far as the extreme of, you know, STD, things of those natures. I don't know, you know, I'm reading for several different people. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. But this person could be still engaging in relationships that they're just taking from. And it could just be, you know, um, they also could be in 
they could be exchanging their body for money, your person. Um, whether it is something they do um, professionally or it's something that they do socially. You know, if, the, if the, the opportunity arises, they will take, you know, advantage of the opportunity. So some of you, your people could be selling their body for, or they could be sex workers or something of that nature. I don't know. They could be in that industry or somebody deals with sex workers or um, exotic dancers, um, of course, sex workers, something of that nature, okay? Um, right. So um, your person is not in the best health right now. Okay? You have great fortune in a courtship. They have thief and bad health, uh, karma and um, low vibration. Aquarius, how you were coming into the relationship or the reading right now, how you feel is, um, I'm not used to dealing with someone like you. I like it. So maybe this person was new for you or different for you or especially if some of you have, okay, so this is going to read two different ways. If you are in a new relationship, your person is different from you, who and what you would date and um, you like it, you know, you're up for the challenge, whatever that may be. And for some of you who have walked out of relationships, um, and this would be about a past energy, um, this person that from the past, they were very different from you. They dealt with things differently. They were in a whole different, you know, a career field or, you know, just a whole different trajectory of life. And um, you were up for the challenge. You liked it, you know, when you were in it. Um, how your person is coming to the reading, either now or then or whatever, I don't know, um, is, and this is how we know they're in a, such a bad, a bad vibration. And they came into the connection with the same vibration. You guys were just very, very different. Okay. Um, one was good. One was bad. I hate to say it like that, but you know, it is what it is. Um, this person is saying, uh, I ran from the connection because you are everything I pray for. It's like praying for something, right? And you're just not ready for it or you're not used to it. Like they weren't, you weren't used to this person, right? And they weren't used to having someone like you, having someone of such great fortune and value. Um, and that's why they diminish the relationship or they try to devalue you by keeping the relationship in a sex only type of connection. And maybe that's even why they ran away from the connection because they knew they didn't have much to offer in terms of, uh, in terms of, you know, your value. They saw your value and they said, the only way I can keep this is or keep this person is to devalue them. Okay. They also could have had other people within the connection, other relationships, situationships, sexual partners. Um, it just added to the chaos and the breakdown. The energy between the two of you is I'm, I'm bad for you and I know it. Hell, you know it. So it's like this person just knows that you guys are very, very different. I think you know that too, Aquarius. Uh, you're vibrating much higher than this person. Um, they know that, you know, they're just not good for you or vice versa. This is you, Aquarius, you know. You could be the bad one. Every Aquarius out there is not great and good. So get in where you fit in. If it's not you, that's okay. Don't write it down in the comment section. Um, the shared or, well, the shared outcome is relationship dynamics. Okay. Um, somebody feels differently about the relationship now. Okay. Uh, the dynamic is different. Somebody knows that there is something or someone else. Okay. Um, and maybe this is what caused the change to cause the, uh, the disconnect, the breakup, the breakdown in communication. Maybe it caused the Aquarius to find somebody else. Or put their energy, effort, time, and just to something else. That something else for some of you 
is going to be hobbies or should be a hobby. You should find a hobby. And if you already have one, this card talks about monetizing your hobby. You're good at it. Um, people will pay money for whatever it is you do. And then some of you, they want you to know that a new car is coming. Okay, so Aquarius, you just have really, really good energy. At the bottom of the deck, we have community. The three and the nine reduces to 12, which gives us three. So it was definitely about some third party situation. There were, your person could be very social, likes to go out, meet other people, date date other people you may meet someone new Aquarius through your community of people through your group of friends or whomever um, your friend groups could be transitioning to going through some type of change here um, your person listens to the community they're so tied to whatever community they are in and it's different from what People look up to this person for whatever reason, or they have a big name, or they're out there, or you may even have a name in your own community. It's like the both of you are almost the same, but very different, okay? Um, someone may be going to court, or be taking the court for something that they did behind the scenes. Um, yeah, and then also we have the energy of, um, I sleep around some days, I find that they're wrong with this, and some days I need help. So we know that this person is um, very promiscuous. Promiscuity can also be, um, you know, an indication of low self-esteem, de devaluing yourself, you know, therefore you would devalue someone else. You wouldn't place all this great fortune and value on someone if you don't even value yourself so it looks like you were dealing with somebody who devalues themselves okay and the cards want you to know Aquarius instant manifestation is coming for you is here for you um you may be seeing 11 11 um things are coming into you instantly make sure that you are manifesting by way of your thoughts your intentions and affirmations make sure your thoughts are clear positive okay um yeah, and this person wants you to know that your your love feeds my big ego. So they were coming from a place of ego, which also could be in turn fear. And you were coming from a place of, it looks like of love and genuine relation here. Um, and if you have kids with this person that you're done with, or kids are involved somehow, um, they use the kid or the kids to get to you, okay? Especially if you have put up your blockers. This person is very sexual, okay? They feel like you just need sexual healing and you guys will be back together once again. They feel like you're super smart, super hot, and your sex is fire. Very sexual in nature. And that's okay if you are. Um, whomever, you know, the Aquarius or the other person, but it has to, every, life is about balance, you know? So it has to be balanced out with something else. So, um, yeah, this person is saying um, that they... Look how they value you. Super smart, super hot, and your sex is fire, okay? Um, they saw your value, Aquarius, but if they don't know, again, in, you've been getting this a lot in your readings, Aquarius. You were just dealing with somebody that doesn't have a valuation system. They know how to value, put place value to um, its respective place or person you know they just everybody gets lumped in in the same bucket and a lot of times people do that because they're in survival mode and they're manifesting and they're coming from a place of ego when you come from a place of love everything is different you know um so anyway you're dealing with somebody who needs a lot of help you cannot help them uh, it looks like you may be saying, no, I will not change my mind about you. Or maybe this is what this person is saying about you. It could be mutual, whatever. Um, yeah. Um, the problem is that someone is saying I'm more spiritual than you. And that's our problem, you know. So Aquarius, that could be you. That could be the other person. Um, it looks like it would be more on your side. Um, 
you just need to know that the dynamic of this relationship is off okay and um you might just need to cut your losses whatever comes of this make sure it's not by your hand if this person wants to come back and fix and do and it needs to be that this was all on them i don't think you need to put any more intention intention attention effort into this that's my personal opinion by way of reading the cards but um the, you know you have to make up your own mind but that's what i would say let's get an outcome here let's see what the outcome will be for my aquarius what is the outcome for the for this relationship i'm hearing um this is one of my favorite songs right now uh tony braxton uh, Tony Braxton and Missy Elliott do it go and listen to that Tony Braxton I just got chills Tony Braxton and Missy Elliott do it and it talks about doing what you need to do and when you listen to the lyrics it'll definitely um, resonate with you if you go and actually listen to the song come back to the to the thread to the video and comment below how you feel about the song and how you feel about what's going on in your life I think it but definitely the song will resonate with you. Tony Braxton and Missy Elliott do it. Okay, maybe I'll just put it up. Okay. All right. So anyway, um let's see. It's a really good song. In terms of, you know, uh lyrics. I mean and and this got a catchy beat, so adult children this is the outcome you know what i just got spirit is so funny like yeah and it, it could be ancestors it could be anybody but this is they said this is who you're dealing with an adult child yes they're an adult they're still in a very childish place in terms of their emotions their mentality how they view other people in life altogether you're dealing with an adult child i didn't even get what i normally get from that in terms of um you know with that and also back to some of you if you want that new relationship if you want that instant manifestation that you you know you've been putting out to the universe go backwards go back to your roots the four talks about home foundation roots motherly or mother of or feminine energy so you might need to go back and deal with something with your your mother so maybe you know that could also resonate in terms of adult children but the first message i got was that this is who and what you're dealing with an adult child uh, a man child a woman child you know somebody that just hasn't grown um some of you need to practice sober living or sobriety or this person is not sober or they need to sober up or when they sober up something will be different or they'll see things differently Aquarius this has been your reading I hope that it resonates for you go over to the website get your own oracle reading just like this oracle cards are different from tarot cards you get a seven of swords at the bottom of the deck Jesus um so I, we use no tarot in this reading these are all oracles um so you can get your own oracle reading just like this one at the website. They're now on sale. Uh, take advantage, okay? Um, hop on over to the website. Get your own oracle reading. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.